The war in Ukraine and tonight the first U.S. cluster munitions arriving on the front lines there. And this evening, more than 500 days into this war now, what our James Longman witnessed in a Ukrainian field hospital not far from the front lines. And a warning here, it is difficult. Tonight, the first U.S. cluster munitions arriving in Ukraine. The controversial weapons are banned in over 120 countries, but the White House provided them with a promise from Ukraine that they won't use them in civilian environments. They'll be deployed in the east in the intensifying counteroffensive. But the effort to push back Russia's huge presence here means Ukraine's casualties are mounting. Not far from the front line, this field hospital springs to action. This looks like an incredibly serious attack that's happened. Three men have been brought in, two of them are unconscious. You can see this man's left leg, is, his foot is almost hanging off his body. As medics rush to revive his friends, Igor gets treatment for a shrapnel wound. A mortar attack hit them in a trench, he says. After more than 500 days of war, this work is vital for Ukraine's survival. Fast treatment so men like Igor can return to the battle as soon as possible. How long have you been fighting? Seven months, he says. And how much longer can you fight? Until we win, he says. What else would all this be for? James Longwin with us from Ukraine tonight. Uh, James, those images, uh, a reminder of the toll of the war. We've been saying it all week now, more than 500 days in now in that field hospital uh, filled with Ukrainian casualties. Yeah, the medics were surprised with just how fast the injured seemed to be coming in. And those stretchers needed to be cleared of bloody bandages to make way for the next casualty. And all the time, everyone working there under the threat that they could be targeted by Russia too. David. James Longman, our thanks to you, James, and to the team there in Ukraine again tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.